So do you have any evidence of market manipulation, and is there currently not an avenue within the U.S. government to prosecute people who are engaged in market manipulation? Sure. So on the first, uh, you know, on the first, there, there's a component of the first question that is uh, really an enforcement question, and obviously the Department of Justice, the CFTC, may be in a better position uh, to answer questions about a specific enforcement actions. I would say that if you look over the past year, uh, the CFTC has opened uh, cases against potential uh, uh, energy firms uh, for potential manipulation. Uh, the FTC has uh, an open investigation into potential anti-competitive behavior by oil refiners. Uh, uh, and so uh, we are uh, actively, as an administration, deploying the tools at our disposal to try to identify those instances. Uh, but to your the second point about whether, uh, uh, whether we have the capacity within the government, we are much better positioned today to address these issues than we were before the president took office because we've closed some of these loopholes. We've brought trading out of the shadows. But the truth is that at a moment when our, uh, our, our regulatory agencies are already uh, being asked to take on substantial responsibilities in implementing Wall Street reform, when you've seen the recent increases in trading activity and volatility, they need more, they need more resources in order to do an effective job on behalf of the American people. So the increase in resources to put these additional personnel on oversight and enforcement, uh, the increased resources for technology are really aimed at uh, making sure that we as a, as a federal government have those tools uh, and have those resources uh, uh, to, do the, to do the best job we can.